Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to simplify this uh, given uh, expression that involves factorials, double factorials, triple factorials, and goes on and on. And that involves nested factorials like this one. And here's our question. We are going to simplify 11 uh, triple factorial times 3 factorial and then factorial once again divided by 7 factorial times 8 double factorial and just keep in your mind that this 3 factorial and then factorial this one is not equal to 3 double factorial these are two completely different things please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so let's go ahead and get started and before we simplify this given problem we are going to go over all these terminologies factorials double factorials triple factorials so on and let me give you this very first example let's take care of seven factorial and that's very simple everybody knows that thing that's going to be seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. So when we are doing this uh, single factorial, we can see our common difference between these two consecutive numbers is just simply one. And here's our next example. Let's take care of seven uh, double factorial. So for this one, it's going to be seven times seven minus two. We will keep uh, subtracting two. So then it's going to be a seven minus uh, four. And then it's going to be 7 minus 6. So that means it's going to be simply 7 times 5 times 3 times 1. And now we can see that our common difference between these two consecutive numbers is going to be 2 since we are dealing with this double factorial. And now let's take care of 7 triple factorial and that is going to be equal to 7 times 7 minus since we are dealing with the triple factorial so we are going to subtract 3 and the next number is going to be 7 minus 6 so therefore this is going to become simply 7 times 4 and then times 1 and we can see that there's a common difference between these two consecutive numbers going to be 3 since we are dealing with the triple factorial and likewise, we're going to take care of this uh, 7 uh, quadruple factorial. So we can start with the 7 since we are dealing with the quadruple factorial. So we're going to subtract uh, 4 from this one. And if we put another term over here, 7, the next is going to be a minus uh, 8. And this number is going to give us a uh, negative 1. So therefore, we are not going to write uh, this term we are going to stop over here so therefore our 7 quadruple factorial is going to be 7 times 3 and in this case uh, the common difference is 4 since we are dealing with this quadruple factorial and likewise we can take care of uh, higher level factorials and if we multiply all these numbers our 7 factorial is going to be 5040 7 uh, double factorial is going to be 105. 7 uh, triple factorial is going to be 28 because 7 times 4 times 1 is 28. And finally, 7 uh, quadruple factorial is going to be 21. And now let me give you one more example. Let's consider 8 factorial. Then this is going to be simply 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And now let's take care of 8 double factorial. And that is going to be simply 8 times, we're going to make 2 less. So that's going to be a 6 times 4 and then times 2. And the next term is going to be a 2 minus 2 is going to be 0. And since 0 showed up over here, so we are not going to write this number. So always keep in your mind whenever zero or any negative number shows up, we just simply ignore that one. So therefore we are going to stop at this uh, number two. 
And now we can see our common difference between these consecutive numbers is 2 since we are dealing with the double factorial. Likewise for 8 triple factorial is going to be 8 times 3 less is going to give us 5 and 3 less is going to give us times 2. And finally for 8 quadruple factorial is going to give us 8 times 8 minus 4 is going to be 4. And if we multiply all these numbers, we're going to get uh, these our answers, as you can see. And now let's focus on our this original problem. Let's look at this uh, 11 uh, triple factorial. And here I have copied down 11 triple factorial, and that is going to be equal to, since we are dealing with this triple factorial, so this is going to be 11 times 3 less is going to give us 8 times 5, and finally times 2. Now let's focus on this uh, nested uh, factorial. And here I have copied it down. Let's take care of this uh, inside this parentheses uh, 3 factorial. And we know 3 factorial is simply 3 times 2 times 1. That is going to give us 6. So therefore I'm going to replace this 3 factorial by 6. So this could be written as 6. And then this uh, next factorial I'm going to write it down next to it. And now we know that 6 factorial is simply 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and finally times 1. So our nested factorial turns out to be equal to this big number. And now we can see we figured out our this 7 factorial that is equal to this whole string. Likewise 8 double factorial is this big number. Likewise, uh, 11 triple factorial is this one. And finally, this uh, nested factorial is this one. We are going to plug it in over here in this uh, our problem. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here I replace this 11 triple factorial by this number. 3 factorial and then factorial I replace by this one. Likewise, in the denominator, 7 factorial is right here. And 8 double factorial is right up here. Now let's go ahead and simplify this fraction. We can see whole this string cancels out with this one, isn't it? And this 8 cancels out with this one. This 2 cancels out with this one. So therefore, in the numerator, we are ended up with 11 times 5. And at the denominator, we are ended up with the 7 times 6 times 4. So therefore, let's go ahead and multiply them out. 11 times 5 is going to give us 55 in the numerator. Divided by 7 times 6 times 4 is going to give us 168 in the denominator. So thus our answer to our this question turns out to be 55 divided by 168. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.